welcome back welcome to the abacus maths classes i am your abacus teacher miss garima singh so kids our today's video topic is multiplication by none now as you can see that this topic we have discussed in our last video also but in our last video we have done the multiplication sums in which there is no use of small friends and big friends formulas now today in our topic multiplication by 9 we will take the sums in which we will take small and big friends method so kids the small friends and big friends formulas i hope you have written in your abacus notebook and please kids learn them also because without those formulas you can't do your abacus sums or you can say multiplication sums as you can see that today we are using the small and big friend formulas in my videos i have told you how you will learn these formulas and it's very easy and you have used these formulas in class second third and fourth also so kids let's start our topic with the first sum as our topic is multiplication by 9 so we are multiplying our number by 9 now as you always do first of all multiply the first digit with 9 now here i am writing 4 into 9 now you can do 4 nines also or 9 fours also so 9 fours are 36 now kids you know in my old videos also i have told you that you start your calculation from hundreds row so our first digit will go in hundreds row and the second digit will go in tens row Now beside this sum, there is abacus tool. I have not labeled it; just labeled it first of all. The dot dot is called units dot, or you can say ones dot. Now the next dot. See kids, next dot is called tens dot, as you already know. Now the last dot is called Hundreds dot. Beside the hundreds dot, there is thousand dot. We are not using that dot this time. So thirty six, we have to put in the abacus tool. Now, first of all, put three in hundreds dot. Now three means put the three beads up. One, two, three. Three be up. Now put six in tens dot. Now six means first of all put five down. Five and one from down, which is six. Five six. Now this is complete. Now the next you have to multiply the second digit with nine. Now seven into nine. Now seven nines are sixty-three. You can do seven nines also or nine sevens also. Now your first digit will go in tens dot and the second digit will go in ones dot or you can say units dot. Now let's put six in tens dot. Now you can see that six is already added. So how you will add six? Now, first of all, we will use the small friends. Yes, kids. Don't rush for the big friends. First of all, you will use the small friends. If small friend formula you can't apply in your sum or the tool, then you go for the big friends. Now, as you can see, that we have to add six, but the bead is not there. So, first of all, we will use the small friends. Now. You know that in small friends there are only formulas of power one, two, three, and four. So there is no formula for six. So we will go with the big friends. Now for adding six, what is the big friend formula? Those kids who have 
learn the formulas they can tell very quickly those students who have not learned the formula please learn the formula it should be in your fingertips so plus 6 is plus 10 minus 4 see how i have formed this formula i will tell you whenever you have to add any number in big friend formula means 6 is a big friend formula so the first number which you will add is 10 and you will subtract the friend now who is the friend of 6 now friends you have to learn who is the friend of 1 9 in big friends who is the friend of 2 8 who is the friend of 3 7 who is the friend of 4 6 and who is the friend of 5 5 now you can see that who is the friend of 6 4 so you are subtracting 4 here you don't have to learn the formulas you only have to learn the friends you can make the formulas with the help of these friends now put this formula here in tens not because you can't add 6 because b is not there there is lack of b so apply this formula now first of all add 10 now in my previous videos also i told you that whenever you have to add 10 you add 10 in one rod up means 6 you have to add in 10 rod so 10 you will add in 100 rod 10 means one week up this is add now minus 4 now minus 4 will be from the same rod now here minus 4 you have to do now you can see kids that minus 4 you can't do because there is only one b now for minus 4 again apply the formula what is the formula for minus 4 now see first of all use the small friend don't rush for the big friends now what is the formula for minus 4 is minus 5 plus 1 so apply it minus 5 minus 5 means put the 5 b back to its place and add 1 add 1 means put the 1 b up and your 4 is subtracted nothing you have to do see kids for adding 6 in 10 rod first of all we have added 10 in 100 rod means 1 rod up then minus 4 for minus 4 we have used again the small friends method or you can say formula. For minus 4, minus 5 we have done and we have added 1. So 6 we have added, nothing we have to do now. Now the next we have to add 3 in 1 zone. 3 means put the 3 B up. 1, 2, 3. Now this sum is completed. Now count. See 1, 2, 3, 4 is there in 100 is not. The second is 2 is there in 10 is not. And the last 3 is there in 1 is not. And this is your answer. Kids, it's taking time because I am rubbing the weights. I am writing all the formulas. If you will do directly in the tool, you can do this sum very quickly. Now kids, we will move to our next sum. Now kids, we will move to our next sum. Seventy three into nine. Now, as you know, first of all, we will multiply the first digit with nine. Seven into nine. Now seven nine is a sixty three. Now we start our calculation from hundred rod. So first digit will go in 100 slot and the second digit will go in 10 slot. Now 6 you have to add in this tool in 100 slot. Now first of all kids add 6. For 6 you will take the help of P5. Now put the 5 P down and 1 P up. And this is your 6. See 5, 6. Now 6 you have added in hundred slot. Now the next you have to add 3 in 10 slot. Now as you can see that the beads are there so you can easily add 3 in 
tense form. Now for three, put the three B up. See one, two, three. I put the three B up, and this is completed. Now next, you have to multiply the second digit with nine. Now multiply three with nine. Now you can do three nines also or nine threes also. So nine threes are it's twenty seven. Now as you know, our first digit will go in tens or and the second digit will go in ones or. Now you have to add two in tens or. Now as you can see, kids, that only one beat is there. Now there is that of beats. So first of all, you will take the help of small friends. Now for two, apply the small friend formula. For adding two, what is the formula, kids? In small friends, the first digit which you will add is five because it's a small friend formula. And but you have to subtract. You have to subtract the friend. Now who is the friend of two in small friend? See. Three, so you will subtract three, and this is your formula. So you have to apply this formula for adding two in this tens row. Now first of all, add five. Add five. Now minus three. Minus three means put these three beads down. See one, two, three, and your two is. Add it. The thing you have to do now, as we have applied this small friend formula, kids. I hope that you all are doing these sums in the abacus tool with me. Yes, then only you can learn this abacus or these sums very nicely. Now the next you have to add seven in ones or see. The thing is added, so you can add this seven directly. Now, first of all, add five and two beats from down. Six, seven, five, six, seven. Seven you have added in one slot, and your sum is completed now. So, in this sum, you have used the small print formula. Now, count the beats. Five, six in hundred slot. Five in ten slot, and the last five, six, seven in one slot, and this is your answer, kids. Now we will move to our third sum. Now your third sum, kids, is twelve into nine. Now first of all, multiply the first digit with nine. Now one into nine. Now it is nine. Now see it. It's a single digit number. Now remind the zero rule. Zero rule states that whenever we get a single digit number in the beginning or first stage, we have to put a zero in beginning. Zero rule states that whenever it comes a single digit in the first place at that time. You have to apply one zero in front of your number. In the second place, one digit can come, but when it comes in the first place at the time of first time multiplication, if it is a one digit, apply one zero in front of it, and it's a zero rule. This rule I have explained you in my old videos. So. Now, now your number is zero nine now. Now the first digit will go in hundred slot and the second digit will go in ten slot. Now zero in hundred slot zero means nothing and nine in ten slot now set your abacus upper beats up lower beats down. Now nine in ten slot nine means use the help of five. Five and four from down.
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नाउ नाइन आई हैव एडेड इन टेन स्टॉल नाउ नेक्स्ट मल्टीप्लाई द सेकेंड डिजिट विद नाइन नाउ टू इन टू नाइन नाउ नाइन टू सा एटीन Now, as you can see, your first digit will go in tens row and the second will go in ones row. Now, one in tens row. Now, how you will write one in tens row? See, no B is there. So, use the small print formula for one. For one, first of all, what you have to add five and you have to subtract the friend. Now, who is the friend of one? Four. So, use this formula here. Now, kids, you can see. You have to add five, but five is already added. This means that you can't apply the small print formula in this tens row. So when you can't apply the small print, you will go for the big prints. Now for adding one, what is the big print formula? For adding one, first of all you have to add ten, and you have to subtract the friend. Now who is the friend of one? See there, nine. So you have to subtract nine. So you have to apply this big print formula in your sum. Now let's start. Add ten. Now ten you can't add in tens row. As I told you, ten you will always add in one row up. So ten you have to add in hundreds row. Hundreds row. Add it very nice. Now minus nine. Minus nine you will do from the tens row. Minus nine means put all the beads back to its place. Five. One. Two. Three. And four. See five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I have subtracted, and this I have done, and we have used the big print formula in this sum. Now the next you have to add eight in one row. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I have added in unit row. Now your sum is completed. Now count. See one in hundreds row. In tens row there is nothing. Nothing means zero. And the last in units row it is five, six, seven, eight. So one zero eight is your answer and your sum is completed. So kids, in this video we have learned how you will multiply any number by nine. in the abacus tool using small and big friends but for that you have to learn these big friends and small friends and it should be in your finger tips with this video kids i have given you one practice pdf do that pdf in your abacus notebook in a neat and tidy way i hope kids you like my today's video if you found any problem related to the sums or the small friend big friends so you can call me in my number make sure kids you watch every single video and stay tuned to my video to learn more abacus concepts thank you